everybody, welcome to another Pro Acoustics Tech Talk. I'm Nathan, and today we're gonna to talk about what is a high pass filter. All right, so a high pass filter or a low cut filter um, is what we're gonna focus on here today first. Uh, basically these terms can kind of be used interchangeably um, and essentially a high pass filter um, basically is a filter that only allows the higher frequencies to pass through uh, and essentially cuts out the lower frequencies. So in order to uh, kind of demonstrate that today, I have a Yamaha MG06 uh, mixer. Um, basically the purpose of a high pass filter or a low cut filter is essentially to roll out the low, low, low frequencies uh, that's normally associated with microphone handling or very deep bass frequencies that can also um, sound like wind, things like that that can be problematic. I'm going to go ahead and turn on this microphone with no high pass filter engaged. And when I talk into the microphone, if I go like this, ooh, ooh, there's a lot of really low, low, low non-musical buildup that we don't really need uh, that doesn't sound very good. So I'm going to go ahead and engage a high pass filter, which is on a button on the uh, microphone preamp here that is at 80 hertz. And I try again, ooh, ooh, we hear all that extra bass. I put in the high pass filter, ooh, ooh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh not near as much. A lot of that has gone away. Also, it's not good to tap on a microphone, but if I tap on a microphone, that's with the high pass filter. I pop out the high pass filter and we get a deeper, louder rumbling sound that may not come through on the video, but gives you an idea of uh, what that kind of sounds like. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and play a music track here without the high pass filter and you'll hear the low, low, low frequencies. But sometimes you don't necessarily want that. Sometimes those low bass frequencies might distort, say a small in ceiling speaker or something like that. So say we wanna cut that piece out. So I'm gonna go ahead and play some music through my system here uh, without the high pass filter. <laughs> We can hear that that has a full full sound, obviously because I'm going through a, a speaker with a deep bass, but if I put in that high pass filter, there's significantly less bass coming out of it. Uh, that can be helpful to clean up a mix if you have um, you know, a keyboard that has a lot of uh, bass frequencies that's stepping on your lower frequencies in your mix. Um, like I said, if you have a microphone that you want to roll out those non-musical portions, uh, if you're getting a lot of wind noise, or if you have a piano or an organ that's getting a lot of um, wind noise, uh, you can use the uh, high pass filter to basically roll out those low, low frequencies. Uh, many times these um, high pass filters or low cut filters are built into um, digital mixers. Uh, so very useful in dialing in your system. Uh, you don't see them as often except for in kind of crossovers, but there also is a low pass or high cut filter. Those are normally used to roll out the bass frequencies um, for a subwoofer so that a subwoofer only gets the bass and doesn't get the high stuff. The low pass or high cut basically only allows the bass to go to that subwoofer. So uh, high cut um, is a low pass, low cut is a high pass. So a little bit confusing there, but hopefully that helps a little bit that when we use a high pass filter, we allow the high frequencies to pass through um, without being adjusted. So if you've got any questions on um, how high pass filters may help you or what you need for an audio system for your project, definitely feel free to reach out to us, www.proacousticsusa.com and let us know if we can help with anything. Until next time, thanks guys.